So I saw Scott Adams. You know Scott Adams is? He's the uh, comic. Not a comic. He's a, he writes uh, a... Uh, what is it? A comic book? He's a comic book. He has a comic book character. Scott Adams, bald guy, glasses. And, um, he said something really funny. He said, uh, CNN and MSNBC, mainstream media, is, is comedy for people who don't know what's happening. <laughs> they don't, for, for people who don't understand things. It's so true, right? You watch it and, and, um, and you see the, uh, you see the ridiculousness of the stories they're telling and the fact that there's they, they poll people and there's a X amount of the population actually believes it. But uh, anyway, so it's a beautiful day in New York. It's warm, it's sunny, it's probably maybe 75 degrees, summer, spring. And um, it's now seven years to the season. Occupy Wall Street, right? Seven years ago. Remember that? Seven years ago, Zuccotti Park. Right? Up the Hudson, make a right into Manhattan. Right? Remember that? Zuccotti Park, Occupy Wall Street. Where the, where the rebels launched a attack on Wall Street. Right? You didn't see any Wall Streeters out there. Yeah, they had the police fighting for them. But you see, you saw patriots out in the street. Not not racially divided. There's there all kinds of colors, shapes, and sizes, and ethnicities, and ages, and political affiliations. Everybody came together, right? So that that see that shit about division. That's what they're trying to do, right? So Wall Street, Occupy Wall Street was was united. It's just that they didn't, they didn't know the enemy. See, they thought the enemy was Wall Street. They thought, because, oh, it's Wall Street, right? Because Wall Street is the, the big banks. So go down to Wall Street and, you know, wage a protest across the street from, what was that, Merrill Lynch is down there. There's, that's the Merrill Lynch building in Zuccotti Park. There's, you could see Goldman Sachs off in the distance. You could see J.P. Morgan has a building there. Uh, Morgan Stanley, Bear Stearns, they're all down there. Lehman Brothers was uptown, right? But they fell, right? They collapsed. But anyway, all the all, all the big banks are down there, right? And it it, was, it, it what I'm trying to say is this is a nice idea that that Occupy merged on Wall Street, and they were you know it was three years to the to the to the election of Obama, who ran on a platform of breaking up the banks. Universal health care for all. Right? He ran on that platform, but he sided with the enemy. Henry Paulson. Right? He got in bed with the he got in bed with the oligarchs, right? And the Occupy Wall Street people still believed in Obama. You don't see when you watch the videos, you don't see any hope 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 signs, but they still believe that um, They still believe that Obama was on their side, right? Three years, right? Because Obama was elected in 08. I just I'm going to make a I'm going to make a uh, kind of a revelation because I don't see any I don't see any need to report on news. It's the same corruption. It's the same Russia bullshit story. Stormy Daniels is it's ridiculous, ridiculous events. That, you know they're closing in on Comey. They're closing in on McCabe. Yeah, all right. But, but um, three years, three years to the date, right? Occupy Wall Street happened, 2011. And, and Obama was elected in 2008. Now, here's the comparison, right? That was the Obama crowd who was paying attention in 08 and stuck with it, right? And they, they knew the problem, which was corruption and, and corruption at the highest levels. Wall, money bleeding out the top, taxation laws that favor the wealthy, favor the one percent. They knew all about it, right? And Bernie Sanders and people like Bernie Sanders were in Congress banging on the table to empty rooms for years, right? So, what I'm trying to say is that the Obama people 
the Occupy people woke up, were awake. And by 2011, they realized that they were still fighting the wrong enemy. And Obama got reelected. Right? The tragedy is repeating itself in Trump because the people that support Trump really believe that Trump is going to, quote, drain the swamp and he, he single-handedly is going to fix the problem of corruption and, and money in politics and he's going to save health care and everything's going, to be, everything's going to be utopian-like if Trump can just get his way. And that is very similar to what the, the people that followed Obama believed, right? So what we have is basically you have people like uh, you have people like, uh, like well, I'll give you an example. Like at least I just want to make another point. Lee Camp did a nice piece on um, the pon- uh, Wall Street is a Ponzi scheme, that the stock market is a Ponzi scheme. It's actually, it's actually, it is a Ponzi scheme, but it's actually a, a, a game of childhood hot potato. You know what? You're my hot potato. It's like the potato is hot, but if you only hold it for a second, you don't get burned, right? As long as you have, have, have someone to pass the hot potato to, you're good, right? <clears throat> you stay in the game, make a little money. But if you get caught holding that potato, uh, you get burned, right? That's what it is. And the people at the bottom, the people, the, the quote-unquote investors. See, Wall Street doesn't invest. Wall Street just middles the transactions. And they get suckers in the middle of, you know, in the middle of the country. Working people to invest their life savings in, 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 in their casino. And they call that investments. Right? And the second the markets take a turn down, those are the ones that, those are the people that get burned because... There's only only 10% of the $30 trillion that that is allegedly exists in the stock market actually exists. It's only, you know, maybe, you know, it's maybe $3 trillion. It's a, it's a lot less than the 30, about 10%, right? And in, so if everybody would, if 10% of the population would sell out their positions, the markets would crash, right? Same with the banks. That's even worse because... The banks don't even hold, they hold, 95% of the money that you give them goes out the back door, right? So they only have 5% of the cash on hand. So not only is the, the not only is, the, is the, 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 the stock market a Ponzi scheme and a game of hot potato, but the banking system is a game of Russian roulette by leaving cash in there. And it's a very, it's very, very fragile. And that's the, 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 the efforts of the current mainstream media is to make you not understand that. And the people that occupied Wall Street did understand it. But they thought they were going to fix it in a leader, and a hero. Obama. Hope! Mr. Hopeful. Right? But the same exact thing is happening with Trump, right? And they're waking up, right? Guys like, uh, what is it, Dr. Corsi? I love Dr. Corsi. But he's, he's, he's got... He's still waiting for Q to give him the answer. That's what they're all watching for, waiting for Q. You remember Q? The Q. Right. So, at this time, it looks like Trump will Trump will reelect because you have you have one more year. You have one more year before the Trump people really, really wake up and realize they've been duped. That there, there is no there is no savior. That the corruption stays in place, right? And the Occupy Wall Street movement is way ahead. And his name was Bernie Sanders. Same message, right? Same message. But the Trump people thought that oh, he's a socialist. They 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 sold you. They they duped you to believe that 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 Bernie was a fucking socialist. Now they'll say he's a Russian agent and and all this shit, but. You, you're going to learn it for yourselves, right? You have to, you know, that's that's the funny thing about learning is that you have, sometimes you have to you have to get burned before you, you understand what's really going on. Bernie Sanders and the, the Feel the Burn movement was an extension, a direct extension of Occupy Wall Street. 
and it occurred four years after Occupy folded. After the police, you can watch the video of the police, you know, brutalizing people out of that park and in that area, beating them and dragging them and arresting them and just started cracking heads. NYPD, they love that shit, right? They love that shit. So until the Trump people, if, if and when, Trump people fully awaken and unite behind behind the Sanders movement, the, the Occupy, and go after the enemy. The enemy is Wall Street. The enemy is Wall Street, but the enemy is the politicians that take the money from Wall Street. The enemy is the money. Uh, you have to you have to you have to hold the politicians accountable. Right? That's the whole thing, right? That's the whole thing. You could go after some bad guys, bad apples, like, you know, Comey and McCabe and Clinton and all those people and lock them up. And that's good. It sets precedence that they're all laws now that uh, and there are consequences. However, what without changing the money flow, you'll just have very, very smart people sit around and concoct new ways to get around the law. For every, for every regulation that Wall Street makes, the SEC makes to regulate Wall Street, within hours, there's, there's groups of guys at Goldman Sachs, for example, the entire floor is devoted towards analyzing the law, these laws and generating ways to get around them. So to think that you're going to beat Goldman Sachs at their own game and... Um, JP Morgan at their own game and the, 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 the you know the 16 banks that control 13 trillion dollars in assets make believe assets uh, is ridiculous it's not going to happen so right you have to get the money out of politics that's the whole thing that's the whole thing because Wall Street Wall, Wall Street loses a friend and they 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 can't do what they're doing anymore because they, they, it's not Wall Street is not investing. Wall Street is a legalized casino. It's gambling. It's a Ponzi scheme. It's a game of hot potato, right? You're not, you're not investing in, you know, you're not profiting from the profit of stocks. You're profiting from the stupidity of the guy who, you know, came before you, right? The guy who's willing to buy the crap that you, you're trying to sell. That's all it is. So my name is Marcus Conti. I'm the investigative reporter. I'm a YouTube blogger and uh, candidate for the United States Senate. Peace.